we want to determine the length of each bar. The first thing we should notice is that the units are centimeters, and whenever expressing a length, it is important to include the units. Next, notice how each centimeter is partitioned or cut into smaller equal pieces. Notice there are 10 tick marks between each centimeter, and therefore each tick mark represents one-tenth of a centimeter. And we'll express our lengths both in decimal notation as well as using fractions just to make the connection. But it's normally common to express a length in centimeters using decimal notation. So starting here, we can count the number of whole centimeters here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But notice how the length is longer than ten centimeters. So from here we can count the number of tick marks, which again, each tick mark represents one-tenth of a centimeter. So we have one, two, three, four, five-tenths of a centimeter longer than ten centimeters. So the total length would be ten and five-tenths of a centimeter, which we can write as ten point five centimeters using decimal notation, or in fraction notation, we could say ten and five-tenths centimeters. But we normally don't express a mixed number in this form because this fraction can be simplified, meaning we can use larger partitions than tenths to express this length as a mixed number. So going back to the ruler, we know from ten centimeters to eleven centimeters is one centimeter, so if we partition this length into smaller lengths, let's say half centimeters here, we can see this length is exactly ten and a half centimeters. So instead of ten and five tenths, it would be better to express this as ten and one half centimeters. But again, normally when expressing length in centimeters, we do only express it using decimal notation or this notation here. Let's take a look at our second example. Starting here, again, we'll count the number of complete centimeters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and again, the length is longer than fourteen centimeters. So let's count the number of tick marks. It might be hard to see on the screen, but we have one-tenth, two-tenths, three-tenths, four-tenths of a centimeter longer than fourteen centimeters. So we have fourteen and four-tenths centimeters, which we can write using decimal notation as fourteen point four centimeters. Or using mixed numbers, we would say fourteen and four-tenths. But again, we can simplify four-tenths or express this using larger partitions. So if we look at the centimeter from 14 centimeters to 15 centimeters, we know it's already divided into 10 equal pieces. But if we partition this one centimeter into five equal partitions, each partition consisting of two-tenths of a centimeter, we'd have a partition here, 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 and here. It's probably hard to see, but that would be two-fifths of a centimeter. So it's better to express four-tenths as two-fifths. Another way to do this would be to start with four-tenths and divide out the common factor of two. Four divided by two is two, ten divided by two is five. So four-tenths is equivalent to two-fifths, but two-fifths is a simplified fraction and therefore the best way to write this as a mixed number. But once again, when expressing a length using centimeters, we're mainly only concerned about the decimal notation. I hope you found this explanation helpful.